I'm in the Forest Research Mobile Laboratory here at APF 2022. I'm joined by Taylor, who is an advisory entomologist. Taylor, what um, species of bark beetle are we looking at in your equipment? Um, so these are collected from the trapping network that surveys for Ips typographus mm -hmm. or typographus. And um, here we have um, the Ips typographus, which is the larger beetle, and with um, an array of other beetles that are found in the UK. Right, okay. And how do you go about identifying Ips typogra typographus? typographus? <laughs> Um, we use taxonomic keys, so that goes through, it's a step-by-step -step process that goes through the different characteristics that slowly get you to the species that you want. Um, so with it to breakfast, if, we're, if I was sorting it for the lab, because um, I know the different steps of the keys very well, um, I can differentiate it from the other similar species next to it by um, a couple of different characteristics. Um, Ips typographus, its common name is the eight tooth spruce bark beetle. So it has um, four teeth on the back of its declivity, aka its bum, um, <laughs> on either side. So they add up to eight, and then also they have a bump on their face, a little bit like a rhinoceros or a unicorn. Right. So, yeah. Uh -huh. um, and is there much difference in the kind of damage that they, the different beetles do to trees? Um, yes, so um, beetles and uh, other insects are usually secondary pests, so they won't be, usually won't be the root cause of a problem for a tree. They go into declining trees and kind of finish it off. Um, we're interested in Ips typographus because it's an invasive beetle and uh, in Europe and the continent they um, can build up to large enough numbers to attack healthy trees and that's why we don't want it here on the West Bruce. Unfortunately, we do have it here now. So, are you seeing uh, an increased identifying an increased numbers, or I mean, how is how is it, it going out there? It's not established here. So, we had um, an outbreak in 2018, mm -hmm. and we've got um, current works to catch any outbreaks that happen due to large weathers. We know that. Um, it's flying over rather than spreading in the UK. So we have um, a number of steps to help stop that. So we have drone surveys that pinpoint um, unhealthy trees. So then we can go survey those forests. And in the South East and Kent area, um, we have the demarcated area. So that means there's laws protecting moving spruce. So you have to have, get it surveyed before it's moved. And then it's surveyed of courts as well. And there's a large trapping network to mop up any that we find. So if someone thinks that it's been discovered, um, they need to get it identified as soon as possible, really. Is that the... Yes, yeah, so um, we'll either come and with the traps, the samples get sent to us and we'll ID the beetles. Or um, you could put, if you think you found it, you can put an inquiry through Tree Alert um, with some photos. Um, we ask for free photos, so um, a far away photo of the tree that you see in decline, and then any close up images of either galleries or exit holes, and with some information on the location, and then we'll answer it and send people out to have a look. Great, well, I'm going to go in for a closer look. Taylor, thank you very much. Thank you.